Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm going to be comparing, uh, from a lot of viewers' requests, uh, the Pure Strike 16 by 19 by Babolat. Uh, comparing it to the Wilson Blade 16 by 19 V7. So, V7 G3, third generation. All right. Both 16 by 19, both probably the most popular rackets in this category for the their companies. So the number one selling blade is a 16 by 19. Uh, number one selling strike historically has been the 16 by 19 of this one. Okay, so let's let's get let me give you a little bit of a background here. So. For those, you know I'm not a big fan of this blade. I mean, it, from ev what everybody's been telling me, it's too dampened, it has no feel, you know, from a different video. Um, I still give this out. I let the customer play with it and have them tell me what they think of it. I mean, some people love it, so don't get me wrong. Um, I don't let my personal feelings get in the way of people liking this racket. All right, so if they like it, hey, by all means, this should be their racket. Uh, but if they don't, if they don't, uh, my number one go-to would be the strike for them to try next, okay? So as you can see, they're kind of similar rackets. Like they, they're both kind of squared off, right? I mean, you don't see the, like the pure drives and the pure arrows are more like rounded off or, you know, kind of triangular. Uh, this is the only line in the Babolat, Babolats are, that are squared off and it's similar to a blade. So I'm guessing Babolat saw these rackets years ago uh, and said, oh, let's, let's make a line just like it. But in, in my personal playing opinion, um, I know that there's more power in these strikes than in these blades. So for those of you who need just a little more power uh, from this blade, th this is a good, you know, slightly more big brother, a little more muscle than this blade. So good alternative. This one, remember, I, I always say this one's too dampened for me, right? It's got... Uh, soft technology, clash technology uh, in it. This also does have dampening properties. You know, do you remember Cortex, uh, this technology? Well, most people like me hated it because it took away a lot of the feel from the racket. Now it's, although you don't see it here, like in the in the area in which you used to see that little cortex crap, but <laughs> don't say mumbo jumbo. You guys love it when I say that. But cortex crap uh, that used to be in here. Um, they actually put they mixed it with some rubber, rubber, and they put it at three and nine o'clock in the frame now, so you don't see it, right? So there is dampening properties here and here. Um, not sure why they did it. I'm sure the the racket was a little on the loud side. Um, probably too much vibration was coming through the frame. So they had to mute that a bit. Um, that's my only guess. Uh, I, I, Cause usually on a stick like this, you want to feel things, right? The purist, you as a purist, you want to feel every shot. If you want to dampen it yourself, you put a dampener in, right? But hey, I, I'm not a racket scientist, engineer, whatever, right? Uh, so uh, does have dampening properties, okay? All right, so let's test them out and see what we got. These are both quarters. All right, four and a quarters. Now, one quick thing to note, these blades are a constant beam. 
so the beam is constant throughout the racket it's 21 millimeters okay so you kind of get a constant flex there uh, on these pure strike 1619s it's a it's a kind of a taper beam 21 23 21 maybe that 23 is to make room for that cortex rubber rubber cortex whatever all right so maybe they needed a little thicker here to put that in there to shove it in there that's what i'm thinking but i don't know who am i all right so got the balance board out got my chart ready let's go with let's go with the strike since that's that's our star of the show today okay three 34. So 334 millimeters is where it balances out. All right. It clocks in at 325. So 325 millimeters. So this is head heavier all right let's hit the scale at the scale with our star of the show today whoa wait three twenty six point five Wilson Blake, 322, strike swing weight, Three thirty seven. Swing weight of the blade. Three twenty two. talk about this so what did we learn today about the new pure strike versus the new blade uh, so looking at my chart here the weight the strike is just a little heavier the swing weight is the, the major difference so there's a lot more swing weight there's a lot more head weight in the strike um, the balance also tells you that too. So these two tells me that there is more weight in the head, therefore more plow and more power, right? The RA on the strike is a 66, which this is the flex rating. So this is going to be stiffer. Now that 21, 23, 21 beam. So it's thicker in here right in here also makes it stiffer and firmer so we can tell that the strike the strike is a more powerful frame than a blade so if you're looking for something um a little head heavier a little stiffer giving you a little bit more power this is definitely a good option um this will give you a little more feel too. Even with the rubber cortex thing, uh, it's gonna have more feel than the blade. So, but don't get me wrong, if you're a blade lover, stick with that. But um, for you, all you strike lovers um, of the old generation, this is a good update, all right? Thanks for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.